Hey, this is Warren Randlick. In this video, I'm going to break down for you how Tesla might achieve 20 million vehicles. I don't think this is the answer. This is what they put forward in the master plan as the, the vehicles uh, that they're going to deliver. I put forward a different approach to how they're going to get to 20 million vehicles and how that's going to generate a trillion dollars in revenue for Tesla. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more going on at Tesla. This is why Tesla's going to 10x or more in stock price. You think $250, $280 a share is a big deal. Just wait 10 years down the road. You're going to be blown away. But let's dive into it. Are you ready? Let's go. So here you see Tesla's idea for the master plan of the proposed master plan part three of the proposed fleet. So you have a global fleet of 40 million vehicles of the Model S and X class, luxury sedans and SUVs. You have 380 million of three and Y class vehicles, sedans and SUVs that are not as big as S and X. 20 million global fleet of semis, electric semis, a 300 million vehicle fleet of what appears to be a van and a Cybertruck and a 700 million vehicle fleet of the next generation vehicle platform. I'm going to go through these numbers. I'm going to show you why it's hard to see that they can get to 20 million with this distribution of vehicles. I did a base scenario. This is my scenario of how Tesla goes from 2022 vehicle deliveries down to 2031 um, how many vehicles they're going to produce or deliver. And I struggle to get over 10 million vehicles with this approach. The key is the next generation vehicle and the Model 3 and Y. These are the high volume vehicles in the scenario, right? Model 3 and Model Y together are approaching 2 million vehicles. So if Tesla delivers, if, they, if they're able to radically expand 3 and Y and they get to 3 million, that's pretty good, especially with the next generation vehicle cutting into the volumes that they're going to sell. And is the next generation vehicle going to deliver more than 6 million vehicles a year? I think it could, but I'm still only at 10 million. So if you gave the, six, the next generation vehicle 12 million, you still would only be at 16 million vehicles. So I really see a struggle. You could give Cybertruck a million. You could give the van a million. You're getting closer, but it's really hard to get to 20 million vehicles in this approach. So let's look at a different approach. Here's Tesla's master plan for the volume of vehicles sold per year to get to that the numbers that we saw in the first graph. So you see Compact, which is uh, the next generation vehicle platform, 42 million vehicles sold per year. Midsize, that's 3 and Y, you can see over here, 3 and Y, the Tesla equivalent, 24 million. Commercial or passenger fans, 10 million vehicles a year. Large sedans, SUVs, and trucks. So here they're lumping Model S and Model X with Cybertruck together rather than the way they did it in the other picture where you had the van and Cybertruck together. You get 9 million vehicles a year. A bus at a million vehicles a year. Uh, heavy trucks at 3 million vehicles a year. That's a total sales of 89 million vehicles a year. That's the picture they're painting. So as I take it, this is the vision for 2030, the total global sales, not of Tesla vehicles, but of all vehicles. So now let's take a look at that approach. If you figure that, there's 89 million vehicles total, and there's 42 million of the next generation or compact type vehicles and three and Y midsize, 24 million. What's Tesla's market share? So if you look here, I've got at 20% market share, Tesla gets to 17.8 million vehicles. At a 25% market share, Tesla gets to 22 million vehicles. And you see there, the next generation vehicle platform is selling 10 million vehicles. Model three and Y, these are the two really large share are selling 6 million vehicles, and somehow between SX and Cybertruck, they're selling over 2 million vehicles for this 22 million vehicle version. I just think that's a stretch. I think it's a stretch to see Tesla selling over 2 million of Cybertruck and SNX combined. I think it's a stretch to see Tesla selling 6 million vehicles of the 3 and Y, or even 4.8 million of these vehicles. And the next generation platform, 10 million. I I'm struggling with that. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's just like, I struggle to see how they get there. Maybe it's possible, but I don't see it yet. But now let's look at how this could get Tesla to a, over a trillion dollars in revenue just from selling cars. This leaves out energy. This leaves out RoboTaxi. This leaves out Optimus just on selling cars if they achieve these numbers. And what I did was I took a 23% market share, which gets us to 20 million vehicles a year. If you figure that Model S, X, and Cybertruck have an average selling price of $75,000, that would be $155 billion in revenue. Three and Y with an average selling price of $50,000 would be $276 billion in revenue. The next generation vehicle platform with a $30,000 average selling price, selling just under 10 million vehicles a year is $290 billion in revenue. 
the van, if they if they sell 2.3 million vans, it's sixty thousand dollars. One hundred thirty eight billion. The bus, not that much volume, but forty six billion. And the semi, three billion global sales. If Tesla has twenty three percent market share at six hundred ninety thousand, they're selling it for four hundred thousand dollars a pop. Two hundred seventy six billion dollars. It totals nearly one point two billion dollars in sales. Just for context here, one point two billion dollars in revenue in say twenty thirty, just on vehicles alone, is more than a ten x of what Tesla did in 2022. So in eight years, you've got a 10X or more than a 10X. And that doesn't include Tesla Energy, which could be another trillion dollars in revenue. And it doesn't include RoboTaxi, which could be another trillion dollars in revenue. So this is why I am very, very bullish. Why I'm wearing the Tesla's the next Tesla t-shirt, elonbits.com for the t-shirts. There's a discount right now, Summer Vibes 20 at elonbits.com. Summer Vibe 20 or Summer Vibes 20 gets you 20% off. So check that out. Huge potential for Tesla here. I'm still struggling with this distribution of vehicles, though. And here's what I think is missing. Tesla is missing that that next generation vehicle is somewhere in the ballpark of a Toyota Corolla or a Toyota RAV4. It's a CUV or it's a sedan or maybe both, but it's a relatively small vehicle. There's another class of vehicle in Japan. It's called the K car. Um, there are very small. These are cars that are significantly smaller than a Toyota Corolla. Uh, significantly smaller than than what we think of as a CUV here in America. They're very small vehicles. This is what's known as a K car. A good example of an EV that is now about shipping or about to ship in te- in Japan is the Nissan Sakura, an EV with only 112 miles of range. I think we all believe Tesla can do better than that. Um, this is the Honda Cube or the Honda N Cube. This is one of the most popular uh, K cars in Japan. They're just much smaller. These wheels are like 12 inch wheels where in America, it's hard to find a vehicle with less than 14-inch wheels. Really, it's hard to find a vehicle with less than 15-inch wheels. So they're small wheels. It They squeeze you know, as much as they can into the box that's allowed. Very low horsepower on the gasoline version. The electric vehicle version that I showed you, the Sakura, has to have a limited amount of power to comply with Japanese regulations. I don't think that's so important, but it's just you have to, in order to be able to deliver a car that people can afford there's a big chunk of the world population that can't afford a, a vehicle comparable to a Toyota Corolla. You have to come down lower. In India, it's very common to see vehicles selling for less than $10,000. So if Tesla is going to come out with a twenty dollars or $25,000 car, that's not going to meet the market demand in a place like India. And there's just a huge potential around the world to sell smaller cars to a big chunk of the population. So here's my wild card scenario where I throw in a mini car. And you give the mini car 10 million units, the next generation vehicle now only does 6 million units, and this gets you to 20 million vehicles. You're still getting high revenue. I didn't calculate out the revenue for this approach. And the other key detail that, that I think people aren't thinking about is when we're looking at the path Tesla is following to get to 20 million, does it start slow or does it start fast? So in this approach, Tesla's only building uh, next generation vehicles, um, the next generation vehicle here is only being built in one factory at first, and then they build a few more factories later, and you get to you know 12 million vehicles in 2029. I did another approach where we start building them faster, and you get to 12 million vehicles in 2028, you get to 20 million vehicles in 2030, you, you're, you're, you're getting there quicker. I think you can still play with these numbers. You can imagine Cybertruck goes to a million vehicles a year. You can imagine Model S and X somehow get to more than 250,000. I think that's a stretch. Could you get Model 3 and Y to 4 million? Could you get the next generation vehicle to 8 million and the mini car to only 8 million? I think there's a lot of different ways you can slice this up and make it work. You could get the van to a million or more. There's a, like I said, there's a lot of different ways you can get there, but I just think it's a challenge. And, you know, Semi could do higher volume. But these are all questions along the path to how does Tesla get to that goal of 20 million vehicles? How does Tesla get to much higher revenue, much higher profit? Leaving out, this is just in the vehicle section, right? Because a lot of people talk about 20 million vehicles. I don't think enough people talk about 20 million vehicles, but Robin Denholm, the chair of Tesla's board, talked about getting to 20 million vehicles. Tesla talks about getting to 20 million vehicles. I think it's interesting to see how they're going to get there and how much revenue that's going to generate. I think they're going to need this mini vehicle to get over the top. I don't think the next generation vehicle can ship in enough volume. I don't think 3 and Y can ship in enough volume. I do think you could see... After the next generation vehicle ramps, you could see Tesla saying, you know what, we're going to do a total redesign of S and X. We're going to get an X down to under $80,000. If Tesla could make an X 
maybe without falcon wing doors, maybe without power doors, you remove some features from Model X and you get it down to where you can sell it profitably at $80,000, you're going to sell a much higher volume of Model X. Basically a larger Model Y. Instead of making it this fancy, crazy vehicle, which I drive and I love, but it's over a $100,000 vehicle, can you bring it down under $80,000 and how much does that increase the market for Model X? And do you do something similar with Model S? I don't know how many people realize that Model X sells in significantly higher volume than Model S. SUVs are more popular than sedans. Can you bring a Model S down to around 55000 to get the tax credit in the United States or even 60000 How much does that increase the volume of sales if you get Model S down to significantly less expensive than it is now? Does that get you? Because we're, we're doing about 80000 a year of S and X now. Can you get to 250000 or 400000 if you bring the prices down significantly? And so you would need a total redesign of S and X to get there, to really get the cost out of the vehicles. Same thing with 3 and Y. After you've completed the next generation vehicle platform, maybe you apply the unbox process to Model 3 and Y, and you're able to get some more cost out of those platforms. Maybe you can find more ways of doing the structural pack and putting all that together to get cost out, and get efficiencies in production, and bring those prices down a bit more. So you're selling the next generation vehicle for under 20000 and you're selling Model 3 for under 30000 you're selling Model Y for under 35000 and that can get your volumes up. I still think it's a stretch to get those vehicles adding everything together to 20 million without throwing in a mini car that you're selling maybe six to 10 million units a year in countries that can't afford in high volume Model 3 and Model Y and the next generation vehicle platform. It's just gonna be too pricey for a large chunk of the, of the population. If we go to a world where everything's robo taxi and people are just buying rides, then maybe this is less of a problem. I don't know how quickly we're going to get to a world of robo-taxi. I'd like to see it by 2030, but I'm not sure we're there by 2030. I think we'll have robo-taxi by 2030, but I don't think we'll have the world converted over to robo-taxi by 2030. I hope I'm wrong about that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. Tesla is the next Tesla. Again, Summer Vibe 20 or Summer Vibes 20. I'll put a link. I'll put it in the description below how you can get 20% off the t-shirts and other merch at elonbits.com. Please support me on the Locals platform on Patreon as a YouTube channel member or as a Twitter subscriber. Please check out my other videos like this video, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.